This video is about transferring VHS tapes as well as Hi8 tapes to the computer. Before I talk about the pros and cons of each device you see in this particular photo, I want to do a demonstration first. If you notice, it says Roxio Video Capture. It is the Dazzle hardware. As you can tell, you can record into the DV format or into the MPEG format. We're going to record into the DV format. You can tell the video looks jittery. With all nonlinear editing systems, what you see on the screen may not be what you get once the video has been captured. But we'll capture about 15 seconds worth of video and drop it into the timeline and see what type of result we get. I will let it record for just a few more seconds. I think I've got about as much video as I need. Let me hit the uh, stop capture really quick. I'm going to go into edit and drop and drag this into the timeline. First, I have to get the video clip. It's in a folder on my second computer monitor. I just dropped and dragged it in. Now I'm going to drop it to the timeline. As you can tell, the video looks horrible. I noticed I got horrible results on my other computer as well. This was capturing with the S video from my Hi8 camera. As you can tell, I'm using Premiere Pro and I'm capturing using the Blackmagic Design Intensity Shuttle. My Hi8 camcorder has the TBC enabled. TBC is a time-based corrector. If your video's wiggly or jittery, it will help correct that problem. I shouldn't need to record too much, so I might as well just stop. It is letting me know that that file already exists, so I'm just going to change it to test really quick for the purpose of this video. I'm going to close this out. I'm going to drop and drag it down to the timeline. I'll hit play. As you can tell, the video looks just fine, which is what you can expect when you're using the Blackmagic Design Intensity Shuttle and the device you're recording from has a time-based corrector built into it. Now we're capturing from the Blackmagic Design Intensity Shuttle without the TBC enabled. Now you're seeing black flashes every couple of seconds. Now this Hi8 tape isn't that worn out. If you have an old VHS tape, the majority of the time you'll just see a black screen and once in a while you'll see a flash of the video. It'd be just the opposite. Because some people could say, yeah, this doesn't look that bad, it's doable. But I'm gonna say right now, if your VHS tape was really worn out, you wouldn't wanna use this type of device. So I'll just drop and drag it into the timeline. And we can see you do have the black flashes. That's what is going to happen without a TVC. I am now capturing from a Firewire DV converter. The TVC is not enabled. As you can tell, there's some interlacing artifacts on the video if you look at the computer screen, but they won't be in the actual capture itself. That's one difference between the Intensity Shuttle and using the Firewire-based DV converter. However, I'm usually looking at a broadcast compliant monitor, not the computer screen. I'll hit stop because we've got more than enough video to, to demonstrate what's going on here. So let me close this out real quick. I'll drop and drag this into the timeline. As you can tell, it looks fantastic. But this is what you can expect when you're using a Firewire-based DV converter with or without a TVC. The Firewire-based DV converters have dedicated hardware to clean up the video signal, eliminating the need for a TVC. Rather than demonstrate all the different things that happened to me when I was trying to use the Dazzle product on two different computers, I thought I'd briefly describe what happened. Not only did it have a horrible result when I tried to use my Hi8 camera, when I tried to record VHS tapes, there was a little bit of wiggliness in the video and some discoloration. 
I also want to let people know that when I recorded for 30 minutes, the audio was out of sync by probably at least five or six seconds. And to add insult to injury, there were weird audio noises coming out of this device. On the right hand side, you see something that looks like the Easy Cap. It's a knockoff of the Easy Cap. That had problems as well. The shadows were just crushed to black. There was no detail in the shadows. And anything that was white was just blown out no matter what I did to adjust the levels with the software. It just did not work. The audio was always crushed as well. Some of my viewers and subscribers know I bought the cheap USB capture card from Diamond. That product died on me after just two days worth of use. In the upper right hand corner is the Blackmagic Design Intensity Shuttle. That product works great for game capture as well as live streaming. Although in order to capture VHS tapes, you would need a TBC with that particular product. The Intensity Shuttle was available as a Thunderbolt device as well as a USB 3 device. As of now, both versions are discontinued. Last but not least, in the upper left hand corner, I have two FireWire based DV converters. I have the Canopus ADVC 110 and the ADS Pyro AV Link. Both of these products work great. I used to recommend the ADVC 110 because it could get its power from the FireWire cable, so you didn't need to use a third party AC adapter. I no longer recommend the ADVC 110, and the reason being is if you have a Thunderbolt 3 connection and you're using adapters to make these FireWire based DV converters work, the power is not adequate. The ADVC 110 will not work, but the ADS AV Pyro Link will work. Some of the mini DV camcorders with FireWire can work exactly like these FireWire based DV converters. When you hook up a FireWire based mini DV camcorder to the Mac or PC, you do not need to install drivers. You do not need to install drivers for the FireWire DV converters either. In another two years from now, we're going to see more desktops and more laptops with Thunderbolt ports on them. So these DV based FireWire converters will be a nice option two years in the future as well as five years into the future. You have to buy the FireWire based DV converters used. It doesn't matter what brand you buy. The end result is going to be the same. I also want to state that whether it's the Dazzle, the Easy Cap, or the Diamond USB capture device, there's issues with all of them. Either the image quality is going to be poor, the audio is going to be out of sync, a lot of times the cheap USB video capture cards come bundled with a limited edition of the software. Sometimes it'll work with Windows 7 and 8, but it won't work with the current version of Windows 10, or sometimes it'll only work with Windows 10. The FireWire based DV converters can work with Windows 2000 all the way up to Windows 10. Also, a lot of times the video that you capture with those cheap USB video capture cards cannot be imported into Adobe Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro 10, or even iMovie. You may read online reviews where people state that the EasyCap and Dazzle products have good audio and video quality, but you'd have to wonder what they're comparing it to. I have several videos on my channel that are more of a tutorial for capturing VHS tape as opposed to just demonstrating the difference between the different products.